Today is April 21st, the year is 2021. I'm David Rowland, pastor of Salem Seminole Baptist Church in Donaldsonville, Georgia, and this is Journal Entry 13. So today is my ninth wedding anniversary, and I'm kind of talking low because my entire house is asleep right now, and I don't want to disturb that. So, But uh, today is my, my ninth wedding anniversary with my wife, Lauren, and I'll be talking a little bit about that on my drive into work today. Just reflecting on a sweet time with the wife this morning. I, uh, I got her some gifts for our anniversary. I couldn't record that because it's too early in the morning, she said. <laughs> and so I try to honor her wishes, especially since it is the uh, the anniversary. You know, I want to want to stay stay in good with her today. And so uh, I was able to get her a couple cool things. I got her a uh, let me put you up here. So, there we, that that's better. <laughs> I got her a couple of neat little gifts. So the first was from Revival Jewelry Company, and you can actually submit a photograph. And they put it inside the stone of the necklace and so when you hold the stone up to your eye you can actually see the photograph and there's really neat you hold it up um, to light and you can see it and then if you hold a lot up to the back it'll actually project on the wall a little circle it's it's really cool revival jewelry um check that out um she thought it was neat she had seen it before and so she was really excited to um, get that i put a picture from our anniversary pictures uh, way back when one of my most all-time favorite pictures of us. I put it in there, and so uh, she was able to uh, able to see that and wear that now, and to uh, show that off to people. And uh, the second thing I got her, I upgraded her phone for her. Not long after she got her current iPhone, it fell out of a window sill and broke, and broke the back glass, not the front glass, but the back glass. And so she just had to be real delicate with it, taking it in and out of the case. It's just. You know, nobody likes a busted phone, but she's made it work because the insurance wouldn't cover having it repaired, and you know, it's just a hassle to be without your phone and yada yada yada. Either way, she's just like, I'm going to make it work because that's who she is. She, it, the thing's still working, and she's not just the kind of person to go out and, and buy herself a, a brand new iPhone. And so I did it for her uh, because that's how I am. And uh, I asked her a couple of days ago. I said, Babe, I said. You know, if you could buy yourself anything, you know, what would you what would you want? Because we have our anniversaries today, the 21st of April. Then we have her birthday is May the 5th, and then Mother's Day is, is right after that. So uh, pressure's on me, you know, uh, for all the fellas out there. I got birthday, anniversary, and Mother's Day all back to back. So I got to do it big. So I was asking, I was like, you know, what if you just buy yourself anything? What would you buy? And she's like, I can't really think of anything. Now we're going by, and I'm like, well, there's the difference between you and me, because I can think about a million things that I want to go and buy, but that's just how she is and how she's wired, and I just thought I'd get her something that she could use every single day, something that was useful for her, and uh, something that was just like, hey, I really appreciate you, and um, it made her cry, and so I was just like, man, like, it meant a lot to her, and so that means a lot to me um, that I was able to, to bless her in that way, and so it's just really, really cool. Um, anniversary so far today. Again, nine years together. Um, just a little fun fact. Lauren and I started dating July 20th, 2002. So we have been together as a couple almost 20 years. That's a long time dealing with somebody like me. But I just want to give her like just a word of affirmation, just a, a word of thanks and praise this morning. Uh, Lauren, I love you. And I don't, I don't know if you'll watch this. I hope you don't watch this today. I hope you hope you watch this like later on down the road but i really appreciate you and, and all you do for our family and the, the way that you just keep us together y'all she really is the glue uh, to who i am she balances me out she levels me um, she speaks wisdom into my life like nobody else can she has a, an authority uh, in my life to, to be able to to say hey that's a great idea or hey that's a bad idea she's been with me for every major event of my life from graduating high school to uh, taking my first management job in my retail career to um, stepping out of my management job and retail career to to go into ministry and there's just so many so many things that she's been there for and supported me through and the one thing I'll say is that my wife has seen me at my absolute best 
and she's seen me at my absolute worst and she continues to love me through it. Not that I want to take advantage of her and, and put her in the pit and just run her through the mud, but I'm so thankful that she saw something in me that I couldn't even see in myself at the lowest point of my life. And so as we celebrate nine years uh, today, I'm looking forward uh, to, the, to the future and what we have ahead of us. We have so many couples in our church that have paved the way uh, for many faithful years of marriage. Um, I sat in the nursing home the other day with a couple who had been married for 58 years. And can I tell you something, y'all? Uh, the wife does not have to be in the nursing home. She's choosing to be in the nursing home with her husband so that she can be by his side and fulfill her call uh, as a wife. And so, man, if, if that's the kind of people that you're surrounding yourself with, um, it's like a forest of big, tall, strong trees that you can just look around and be encouraged by if you're if you're just getting started. And so that's how we are in our life and our marriage. We we have I could I could name off so many so many other couples who who are like that. But uh, today's just a special day for us, and um, it's really all I have for for this journal entry. But um, journal entry thirteen is off to a, a special time. And um, I'm just looking forward to what the future holds for Lauren and I in our future in ministry. Um, man, yeah. I think that's going to do it for this journal entry. Y'all uh, y'all keep turning from sin, fighting the good fight of faith, and thriving in Jesus Christ. I'll do my very best to help you do that on my channel here and through these through these journal entries and through my, through my drivings to and fro. And, um, man, God is so good to us, y'all. Just stay faithful.